Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Food Junkie, coming at you again with another video on my way to work again. Um, yeah, I was speaking about, you know, throughout the day, you know, something that I wanted to talk about, and I wanted to touch on this right here. First, I want to thank all the subscribers that have subscribed to me, all the people who have watched my videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm still growing. I'm still developing this channel, so thank you for coming in at the ground floor at the beginning appreciate it thank you so much um your viewership and um subscription means a lot to me thank you so much i appreciate it and for the ones who have watched my live as well i even say, say my live i did one so <laughs> thank you so much for watching that as well i appreciate that um i enjoyed it i'll be, I'll be doing more later uh, when i have more time to do so but i just want to thank you for that but this video is about, I'm thanking you. First of all, I want to say thank you for subscribing to me, but it's also about the subscribers um, that I've seen on the YouTube streets as well, especially recently. I think some of the subscribers of the people that I watch and that I'm subscribed to myself likes the mess, likes to keep it up, likes to insert themselves in it, like to, you know, be you know a part of it i made a video earlier about you know how being interactive with youtube is like being interactive in a reality show and it is and i think some of the subscribers get carried away um one person i subscribed to said something and i commented i called it on the replay and i said something on their board and one of their subscribers tried to get, go back and forth with me about it. And I don't mind people responding to what I say. I don't mind people, you know, talking about what I say or having an opinion about what I say. That's fine. But one thing you're not going to do is try to check me at any time, shape, or form. You know, I don't get checked. I really don't. You know, I know I say everyone can be checked and corrected and stuff because we all can. But if I'm not wrong or if I'm not coming at you, don't try to check me. Don't think that you're going to say something smart to me or be rude to me or be sarcastic to me. One, I'm not going to pick up on it. I understand tone very well. I understand diction very well. I may not be all, always be able to speak properly, <laughs> you know, because of my speech impediment. But I understand what people mean and the sub um, nuances of how you say things and what you say and things like that. I'm very intelligent. That's something that would not ever be debated or questioned. I will allow you to, you know, that's one. And two, don't think that you're going to sit here and tell me something false and make me believe that I should believe that. If I say something, it's because I know what I'm saying. If I do something, it's because I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm not trying to be rude or malicious in what I say or what I do, but if someone that I follow or I subscribe to say something that I have a question about, I'm going to ask that question. And I'm going to ask it in a way that's respectful. And I'm going to ask it in a way that's not trying to drag them or publicly humili humiliate them and things like that. So as a subscriber, you are more than welcome to go on to a person's thing and ask a question. And if you see me there, question what I say. But do it respectfully. Do it in a way that you're not trying to check me. Don't use the word bruh at the end like this is this is what I say, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not how it works with me, at all, by any means. You know what I'm saying? You can ask your question respectfully. You can ask your question or make your comment respectfully. Do not think that you're going to question me and check me in a way that I'm going to just sit back and lift my tail tuck between my legs and let you do that. Won't happen. Not here. As nice as I am, and as cool as I try to be, and as calm and collected as as I try to be and conduct myself. I'm just as rowdy and rough and gutter and visceral as you are, if not more. So, you know, and I just had to correct the person, um, you know, on that. And then I made a video about it. So if you want to see the response to what I said, I called the person by name. And in that video, I called the person by name. You know, I didn't go too hard at them, but I did go hard enough to let them know, don't play with me. You know. In my written response to them and the video, you know, don't tell me something that I 
know is factual to try to make you believe that I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm extremely intelligent. Once again, you know, I know what I know. I don't know a lot about everything, but I know a little bit about a lot of different topics and subjects and subject matter. Be it based on the field that I'm in, the field that I was in, be it the jobs that I had, the people that I know. I know what I'm talking about when I speak. I don't talk just to hear myself speak. That's not what I do, you know. Like I said, I've been around these YouTube streets for a long time, silently observing, you know. I've just now become more active in talking and communicating and chatting and things like that and also making content. But don't mean I don't know what's going on. Don't mean that I haven't been around for a minute. Don't mean that I haven't been in these chats, in these chat rooms, in these lives and stuff and watching replays for years. Just because I'm being more visible now don't mean that, you know, I wasn't there previously. I don't understand or know the history of behind something. I haven't done my research before I spoke about something. And in saying that, you know, I think a lot of subscribers not only like the mess, they like to keep things going. They go from chat to chat to chat or from page to page to page. Oh, he said this about you or she said that about you. Oh, did you hear them mention your name? Oh, you heard them say this? Mess. Messy, messy, messy. Like I said before, we're all a little messy. We all like a little mess in our lives. But to um, blatantly try to cause confusion and deception and turmoil with people that have nothing to do with you says more about you than anything. It shows who you are. It shows what you're about. It shows why your life may be in turmoil in your real reality. It shows why, you know, you maybe can't hold on to... Um, real friendships, why you're on this virtual thing all the time, causing trouble, causing confusion, I'm pretty sure you're doing the same thing in your real life as well, you know, and this is not dogging off subscribers, so please don't take this as me dogging subscribers or talking about subscribers in a bad way, because I'm not, it's just the ones, you know who you are, if, if these words hit you and hurt you, it's because you are that person, you know that I'm talking about you, not all subscribers are bad, I love the subscribers I have, I love people I love actually other subscribers and content creators because I started following a couple of people, sorry, subscribing to a couple of people that I saw as someone else's subscribers. You know, I saw what they had to say. I saw how they grow, how they conduct themselves, and I like it, you know, so I subscribed to them. But I'm talking about the nameless, faceless, you know, subscribers out there who's been, they call them trolls, I guess, who go around to each person's, um, live or videos and stuff and try to cause dissension and cause trouble and cause conflict and confusion. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do that. That's not nice. That's not cool. That's not respectable. That's not part of adulting. You know, really be an adult. You know, if you come over here to my page and you like what I have to say, like it. Or if you don't like what I have to say, don't like it. But don't go around thinking that it's cute or cool to carry bones and, you know, cause dissension because sooner or later that dissension is going to come back and roost with you. I always say in every video, pretty much every video that I make the energy you put out there is the energy that's going to come back to you. The energy that you put out there is the energy that's going to circle around and hit you right when you're not expecting it or not when, right when you're not ready for it. So don't put out negative energy. Don't put out negative things. Don't put out negative content, negative words. You know, you're thinking that you're going to live in a bubble of solace and comfort and understand things like that that's not going to happen when you put negative things out there you're going to attract those negative things back to you that's why i say i try to be as nice and cool and not pc because i'm not pc you know because i think that's boring as well but i'm trying to be as good of a person and the best person that i am meant to be at all times you know I'm not trying to put out negative energy. I'm not trying to put out negative words, negative thoughts, negative emotions and things like that. Because, like I said, it makes you ugly. It really does. It makes your breath stink. It makes your hair fall out. It makes you, you know what I'm saying, you gain weight. It makes you not be the best person you're meant to be. You know, it just does. And not saying anything about people who's overweight. So don't take it as that either because that's not what I'm saying. Don't be so sensitive, you know. That's the problem that we have in this world right now. Everyone is so sensitive. Everyone takes things so personally. 
someone says something about somebody who happens to be overweight. Oh, you, you're dogging all overweight people. No, I'm dogging that one overweight person. Oh, you said something about somebody who's ugly. You're dogging all people who are unattractive. No, I'm saying something about that one individual that said something to me. You know, you, you, you said something about a woman. Oh, you hate all women. No, I love all women. I have a mother. You know what I'm saying? I have sisters. I have aunts. I have cousins. I have nieces. I have female friends. I love women. You know, I love women. So it's like, you know, no, I'm talking about that one particular person. You know, you said something about a gay man. No, I don't hate all gay people. I'm saying something about that one particular gay person, that one particular bisexual person, that one particular particular trans person. It doesn't make you homophobic, transphobic, or anything else if you say something about somebody who happens to be part of that category. No. If a gay person don't want to get checked or cussed out, don't put yourself in somebody else's business that doesn't concern you. Don't insert yourself. Same thing with a trans person. You don't want to get cussed out, don't insert yourself in somebody else's business. If you don't want to be cussed out as a woman, don't insert yourself into someone else's business that doesn't concern you. If you don't want to be cussed out as a man, or talk about for being a man, or a black gay man, or a white gay man, or an Asian gay man, or a Filipino gay man, or whatever type of person you are, don't insert yourself. When you don't insert yourself into people's business, no one can say anything about you. And you know if they, if they say something, say, say, <laughs> and if you say and if they say something about someone that happens to be gay and whatever other category you fit in that doesn't affect you it doesn't involve you stop inserting yourself into situations that doesn't involve you you know um, I say this as well but I heard this so, so, so on YouTube if it doesn't involve the three F's don't worry about it. Your three apps, which is financing, fucking, and feeding you. You know? I may talk about situations that I run across on YouTube every once in a while because it relates to a story that I have in my own personal life. But I'm not judging that person. I'm not trying to ridicule that person. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying, tell you how to live your life. I'm just equating what I saw, what I ran across to what I've experienced. You know? And some of, some of these subscribers that I see in these various chat rooms and these various online um, things on YouTube, I see them inserting themselves into situations that doesn't involve them. With all the beef that's going on right now on YouTube, I have information and history to inject myself into if I wanted to. I haven't because it doesn't concern me. I'm sitting back watching it unfold. I'm sitting back observing from a distance. Silently observing what's going on. Silently observing how it's going to play out. It doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with me whatsoever. But pure enjoyment that I choose to take as far as being entertained. And if I take a pearl or two of, of content from it, I do. If I don't I choose not to. You know, I could review shows if I want to, but that takes so much time. I don't have time to do that. I work. I have a real life. I don't have time to sit there and watch a show and rewatch a show and take notes on a show. I did that once, well, twice for a couple of things. Once for the Oscars, which was something I was really happy about. That did one for Project Runway. I said I didn't do my Project Runway review for last week. But since my girl got kicked off, I was motivated to do it. But I'll probably do that. I don't know. I'll probably do that, you know, in the next couple of days before the new project. Well, I do it before tomorrow. So I'll probably do it tonight when I get home from work. So I can talk about that, you know, and my thoughts on it and things like that. But I reached out to her and, you know, she reached out back to me. You know, and it was cool. So... Subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe, support the people that you support, like the people that you like, you know, but don't interject yourself into something that doesn't concern you and don't get involved with in a mess. Don't make something bigger than what it has to be. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill, you know. When you start interjecting 
yourself into something that um, doesn't concern you. I said you can give your opinion. Please give your opinion. We want that. We want you to tell us how you feel. We want to see how the content that we create affects you, helps you, you know, how we can do it better, things like that. We want that feedback. Please, I want that feedback, you know, from you. I really do. Um, I haven't found out how to check my comments yet because <laughs> I am a new YouTuber. But, you know, I'm working on it. You know, when I have time, I play with the YouTube, see what I can see from it, you know. That's why I ask for larger YouTubers that want to reach out to me and help me out with that. I would love to have you mentor me and show me, you know, how to navigate this whole YouTube thing in a better way that I can be more proficient at it, you know. So please, for people who just know about how to uh, navigate this YouTube thing, email me. Please let me know how I can make it better, how I can do things differently, you know. And I'm not, like I said, I know how the YouTube thing work. I can put your name in my videos and talk shit about you just to get some clout. But that's not what I'm about. So I'm asking you on this platform, on my platform, you know, reach out to me. Let me know how I can make it better. How I can be more proficient at this whole YouTube thing. You know, not gain a thousand subscribers in two days, that type of thing. But, you know, um, how, I can, how I can check my comments you know, how I can edit my content and things like that, you know. I don't know what's going on right now. Test drive, people. It doesn't concern you. It doesn't concern you. Oh, my God. Here in Georgia, traffic is so horrible. I think it's an accident up here that just happened. I see smoke. I see cars move to the side. I think an accident just happened. But people are so busy rubbernecking, worried about what's going on. Exactly what I'm talking about. Yo, see, it wouldn't have happened if y'all would have paid attention to what's going on. Now you're in an accident. Now I'm going to be there for work because you're playing. I just passed it. But come on now. Just keep driving. They pull to the side of the road. I don't understand people. In the real life and in virtual life, minus one else's business. Mind your own business, people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or well, like one YouTuber saying, I think it's so cute. Like I said earlier, I mind my business while I mind yours. <laughs> That's cute to me. It's funny to me. I'm a lone wolf. I mind my business while I mind yours. Get a t shirt, boo. Get a t shirt with that on it. Make some money off of that saying that that's something that you're known for. Get some coffee mugs, some teacups with that saying. Some binoculars, some opera glasses, but they're saying, I mind my business while minding yours. I'm giving you some gems here, boo. I may be new to YouTube, but I'm not new to marketing myself and marketing products and knowing where the idea comes from. Use that. I'm giving it to you for free. <laughs> I won't even charge you for it. Just ask for a t-shirt when you make it. That's all I ask for. Maybe a coffee mug and some binoculars with that sand on it. You know, I'll give you the idea. Make it happen. But anyways, like I was saying, you know, as, some, as, as, as a subscriber myself, you know, I don't interject myself into people's personal business. I may ask a question. Know, but I'm not going to interject myself and give my opinion, although I have one. As far as, you know, calls me by name and says something's right or wrong. Who am I to say what's right or wrong? Or like I said, what I would do, how I would do it, how I would go about doing it. You do you. Go about your life the way you want to go about your life. Live your life the way you want to live your life. You know, don't let me stand in your way. Don't let me um, hinder you from your success or your failure, whatever it's going to be. I can't tell grown folks what to do. I can ask questions and get my opinions. I can't think what to do, though. But yeah, as a subscriber, stop introducing yourself into people's personal or YouTube beats. I know, like I said, it's a part of interacting within a 
reality show type environment. What the reality is, if it comes down to you having to defend yourself or you know protect yourself, because things are getting crazy. People are calling police. People are calling CPS. People are calling people's jobs. You know, <laughs> like for real, or something virtual. You know what we're doing? People's doing background checks, looking people up. against me. Don't take something that I haven't even told you about or something that I haven't mentioned. Try to use that against me. That's not, you know what I'm saying? That's criminal. Stalking, don't do that. You know, you can't do that. Sorry, you shouldn't do that. You know, I can tell you what to do. You just keep in mind, the energy you put out there, the energy you're going to get back in, in return. That's why you see all these groups and friendships and people that was belonging to one group falling out. Y'all doing negative, nasty things to one another. Or on behalf of one another. And then next thing you know, when it happens toward you or against you, oh my God, I can't believe you did that to me. Why do you support me? Now here they go spilling your beans, spilling your tea, as they say. Releasing telephone calls that you've had with them, text messages that you had with them. You know? Talking about you like a dog. And you have to respond to that. Oh, now that's just crazy. It's the negative energy that you put out there, the negative energy that you surround yourself with, that you contributed to. Don't do that. Because everything always comes back around. Nothing is ever finished. You know what I'm saying? When you put energy out there, energy is recycled back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know? How you treat people. How they gonna? How you gonna be treated one way or the other? And as another YouTuber say, you're gonna pay on the front end or on the back end. You know, one way or the other, you're gonna pay. You know, you gonna pay now, you gonna pay later. But either way it goes, you're gonna pay. I kind of gave y'all a, a clue to who I actually watch, what I, who I listen to, who I, you know, enjoy watching things like that. I talked about three little hints in there without mentioning their names. You know. But, like I said, I won't, I won't mention their name until, you know, well, unless, unless I ask them to mention their name, is it okay? Or if, you know, they mention my name, you know, in a positive or negative way. You know. But, this is Food Junkie. Once again, you like what I have to say? Like the content that I give you, go to my channel, check it out. And if you like the content on my channel, subscribe, like, share, comment. <laughs> you know, it's all good. As I, and I always say in all my videos, love yourself, love someone else, respect yourself, respect someone else. And until next time, Food Junkie out.